Hello, my name is Iker and welcome back to the seventh part of my stereoscopic 3D Let's Play of Abduction. I'm playing the game in VR, virtual reality, with an Oculus Rift DK2. And the game is being presented in the stereoscopic 3D format to the best of my admittedly inadequate abilities. I did not use the webcam that I have finally got functioning for the first time in a very long time when it comes to recording the gameplay of a game that I may be playing and recording the webcam at the same time because of the fact that the last time I tried it was probably several years ago. For some reason OBS at that point simply was unable to run at a decent uh, rate with the webcam going so I am now with a different setup able to do it and I'm going to do it for perhaps the rest of this place playthrough we'll see so here we are back in the game it's been a while since I've played actually it's been about a week since I did my one my one and only session of playing this game, in which I recorded six parts. And I did get a little bit uh, stuck, I guess you could say. I didn't know precisely what to do next, but in that time, I have had some, some time to think about my options and what's available to me in the game. and. I think I know a couple things that I can try out. The first of which I may as do as well do now, since I'm right next to this minecart thing. All right, so I do have to mention that I have a problem with my keyboard because last night I went to Popeyes to get some food. I don't know if this is switched correctly. Probably not. Yep. I went to Popeyes to get some food and also got myself a drink. And the problem was that for some reason the drink lids did not match with the top of the cups precisely and it was a struggle to try and get the lid to stay on. And I thought I had got something reasonable though I was being very careful with the lid as I came back home. So when I got back home, I came to my desk, brought the drink with me. Probably should have checked to make sure this is correct. I think it is because it's pointing left, or right. That is pointing left. So anyways, I got back home. Started to take a drink, and pretty quickly, I I held the cup just the wrong way. Speaking of wrong ways, I will need to switch this. My keys are stuck. Only certain places where it'll let me leave. Apparently, this isn't one of them. My key is stuck. Okay. That's annoying. Why won't it let me out anywhere? Thank you. Alright, so... I held the cup in just the wrong way. I kinda... I think I kinda squeezed the top a little bit. The lid pops off, and that causes me to squeeze the thing a little bit more, lose my grip. And then I squeeze it a little bit more, trying to maintain my grip. But then some of the cherry, vanilla, Dr. Pepper comes out right in the center of my keyboard. Soda is just the worst, man. So initially, I was like, oh crap, 
this is, uh, this is pretty bad. I need to spring into action, deal with this situation. So I just wiped off the top of the keys, wiped as much as I could on the side of the keys, got everything up that I could see without taking the thing apart. But then I realized my keyboard was randomly spazzing out. Oh, wait a minute. I cannot do what I thought I was going to be able to do here. Because I actually need to be able to break through this. And I don't know if I've got the angle I need to do it. Because what I want to do is I want to bring this minecart up, up over to there and take it up to the, um, what do you call it? Warehouse? Maybe I can get the angle? It looks like I can. Has that done it? I think it did it. Get out of here and check. So my, what my key, you yeah, know, okay, that worked. Didn't know I'd be able to hit this angle. Yeah, there, that's the, um, device they were using to create the fake rocks. Just busted that down. I'm going to preemptively switch these. Cool that I get to use my hand to flip the switches. So back to my keyboard's story or tale or tragedy. What it was doing was it was ran it was like my tab button was stuck, and whenever I went into a program, it would just tab through everything you could tab through. It was really weird. Switch that. And, um... So I was thinking, okay, I need to reboot. I reboot, and it stopped tabbing, but it was still doing the other thing it was doing, which was randomly pressing the W key and randomly pressing the Y key. Just randomly boop, 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 W, Y, W in any text box. So then I take the keyboard apart. And underneath the keyboard, there's some soda. I was able to find some soda underneath. That sound was my PlayStation 3 controller going offline. got it in Bluetooth mode, so it goes offline after a while. Okay. Here we go. So I took some... took every key cap off of the keyboard, and it's a mechanical keyboard. Took every keycap off, wiped it down, wiped down the area that's below the keys. Hang on, as we transition. Nice. And, well, after that, Blew it out with some compressed air, maybe dry it off a bit. I wasn't able to get to the area underneath the plate where the actual keys and the switches are placed. Oh no. Yeah, what I feared is the case here. I'm not facing the correct direction if I want to be able to shoot down to these rocks, which is what I was thinking I would be able to do here. But maybe there's something inside here I can shoot, because it looks like there's a hole where I might be able to... Oops. Might be able to do that.
Colby and I'm going to actually stand up like this. But I do not see anything I can do. Got that lever in there, but I need to get on the other side. I do not know how I can manage at this point. So anyways, it stopped randomly pressing keys, but now I've got the issues where the keys physically gets, the switches, I should say, physically get stuck. I don't know how that's possible because the, um, like the caps, the key caps protect the switches themselves from actually getting any liquid into the mechanism. But what must have happened was somehow it seeps through on the sides of the mechanism and then it gets itself under and causes it to stick. I don't know, but I do not know if this is repairable. And as you can see, I keep like sliding in. Look at that. It sticks. Alright, there's got to be something I could shoot around here. Gotta be something. Because I'm suspecting that if I can get in there, there's probably like a turn. I'm not supposed to be doing this, but hey, why not? Just like a turn table or something? Something that will allow me to f flip this around, but. Don't know how to get in there right now. Let's take a look around. Side. Okay. Anything I can shoot down in there? I don't remember seeing anything that direction. That right there is the storage. And this is the scrapyard. Hmm. So it looks like this doesn't work until I'm able to flip the thing around. Just like the rocks covering that other mine shaft, I don't think I can do anything with them until that gets flipped around as well. So, I think I'm not supposed to do that yet. But, then I have to wonder... How do I get the code to that elevator? Which I believe will take me beneath the tree. The area where the tree is seems to have a path underground. Okay, I'm right here now. Could perhaps... No, there's no way that this can turn me around. Don't think. Over there, that mine shaft is what I was talking about with the rocks. This one over here. Because when I come up with the current orientation of the card, it comes this way. But I need to be facing this way so I can back up, back, 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 back. And... Maybe I can hit that because I actually was able to get a really nice angle. Really nice big angle on that. Bigger than I thought. But I thought I tried it already. 
So I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to go get the cart. Go all the way over here. All the way around in a loop. And then check it out. Because I'm pretty sure that I do not have the code. I don't I have I don't think I've missed the code to get into the elevator. The one that's got the the um, rotary dial telephone. And there's one other thing that I was thinking I could go and check is there was the um, I don't really know what it was. It was some kind of a kind of jar down below there, next to the river. And I picked it up earlier in like part two. Oh, this is going to take me over there. I picked it up earlier in part two, but I didn't actually spin it around and check every angle of it. So I think I missed something there. How do you think I did? So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to speed this all up, including, I think, the webcam image, so my head's going to be moving very rapidly. Here we go. One of the things that I've noticed is that every one of the um, the holographic messages from either the mayor or Farley appears to be in a spot where I can hit it with this device. The thing that disables Mofang stuff. Oh, that did work. I don't know how I didn't get that the first time. I'm going to have to watch back my footage and see how I missed it. Oh, I can try out, teleport to a new, new area. Oh, I think I'm inside the scrapyard. I'm going to be able to hit that switch. Hey, look at that. Nice whale. Oh, shoot. Where's he going? One over that way. All right, so can I unlock this? Maybe it went down into one of these holes here, into the mine. Alright, so let's check this place out. See if my guess was correct and there's a way to turn around the cart inside of here. It seems like this would be the perfect place to put something like that. I just want to see if there's anything else of interest. So far, nothing of interest except incessant texture pop in. Oh, and there's a path over there. Oh, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get up to it. So what is this? This is what I like to see. A mechanism. Looks like I can get in there and ride it.
<laughs> Alright, we'll check that out later. I like seeing mechanisms. That's what I've been really, really missing in this game. Oh, is this just a loop? Yep, that's just a loop and that's all I need, actually. Because if I come in facing... So when I come in, I'm going to be facing this way. And so I do a loop-de-loop, -loop and I turn around, and then I'm facing this way. Then I can aim down there and hit that. Hit that, uh... I forget what they call them. Illusion rocks. Whatever. Image rocks. That's exactly what I need to do. Hmm. Oh, looks like there could be something going on with this. Don't know what, though. Bunch of stuff covered in a tarp. Doesn't look like there's actually anything I can use here. There's an invisible wall preventing me from going too far. Can I get up top there? I see a platform. Yes. And a book. Hopefully we'll get some hints as to the code for something here. New arrival inventory check-in, CRT, short hose, two switches, small tree, leather pouch, power supply, Lorax sheet metal cabinet, a large sheet metal cabinet. I always get screwed up by large. The G doesn't look very much like a G for some reason. Wood flooring, light fixture, various country flags, four metal poles, Video camera, 16 car batteries, wow. Back half of a pickup truck, cardboard boxes, shelves, books, projector screen, chalkboard, slide projector, carpet, partial fence, tomatoes, two cassette recorders, compressor, hose, fuse box, electrical cable, various switches, sorted light bulbs, metal box, wire cutters, wire strippers, calculator, paints, sorted canvases, easel, several throw rugs, welder, power supply, pump, section of an I-beam, tin snips, and pliers. So I suppose this is what someone who just arrived was taken with a, what was it called, messenger seed? And the area around them was just deposited here, and these are the goods and useful items that came along with him. I think that's how this works. And that's the only page here. Did I, f I was wondering if I could rotate and flip the books around, but I can't. Hmm. Not really any hints in that, but I should take some images of it. You never know. Hmm. Let's see, make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Western Rails, Mead, Washington. Right. See if I can figure out what's going on with this uh, backhoe scoop or whatever you want to call this. I don't know what it's called. Looks like you can get in it. Go down to the salvage area. Personally, I'd have just made a ladder or something, but maybe someone had some free time. I mean, it doesn't seem like they're too many interesting things to do around here and um what do they call it hug unwrath all right 
let's try and find anything of interest or use. Something's going to give me information. like a thing of oil. Can't pick it up, can't use it. Hmm. Whoa. Just had a f game hitch there. This is interesting. This is quite unlike anything else I've seen in Hunrath here. What is that? Hmm. Before I mess with that, I guess I can read these. Oh, nope. So it looks like it's showing switching an up position, which I assume is on. But it's so, the texture is so bad. So, so bad. It looks like basically the same thing. Let me check how long I've been going. 33 minutes. Do a couple minutes more because I sped up part of it. Ooh. Got inside of this place finally. Are you in trouble? Need help? Call 1555 help you. We can help. Kenway Bill Billum and Bail Law Officers. Maybe I could try calling that number. Cause there is a phone out there. And I do need some help. Oops. What is this? Oh, it, of course it requires some kind of code. I'll play around with that later. It's nice to see some mechanisms for once. Nice. Shortcut. Or maybe I have to flip the power on first. License plates. These could actually be of interest to me. Hmm. I would not be surprised if those are related to some type of code I need. Yeah, this garage feels too small. The scale is just... It's cartoony. I wish it felt real sized. Ooh, what is that? Is that a camera? That's a security camera. Someone been watching me? All right, flipping the switch. Hmm. 
Yep, we got light now. Ooh. This thing's operational. Oh, I don't know what... I've seen that before. I've seen you before. This was in the in the room in Farley's house. And this was one of the projection slides. And it seemed to be it seemed to match up with that symbol on the chalkboard that said 15. We'll play with that in the next episode. See if I can figure that one out. First, create a shortcut. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Open Door Simulator 20. 17. Doesn't matter what kind of door it is, it could be a just a regular old front door to a house, it could be the door to a mine shaft in the in the guise of image rocks. It could be a hatch. Or indeed it could be a simple old garage door. We just open doors all day long here in Hunrath City. And we'll open some more doors hopefully next time. As my Let's Play of Abduction continues. See you next time.